decided to shoot this next motion picture aboard an ocean liner traveling across the, across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star. Scratched out name to keep the main character anonymous. An obvious choice, perhaps, given the star's failed career and numerous critically acclaimed roles. It seems that the recent worrying rumors as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. So... Hmm. Maybe the artist from the first game is connected to this somehow. Hmm. Uh, it will be a little bit of a stretch, but... I wouldn't put it past it. I wouldn't put it past it, so... I'm gonna just go ahead and do, like, some very, very early theory crafting on how that could be possible. Mainly with the whole thing of artists on movies working on like concept art and all that. He could have been one of the people there in that kind of area. And he somehow made a name for himself and it's like, hey, I'm going to work in movies now. I mean, movies and conceptual art are kind of like going hand in hand, so I won't play fast. An unmarked key. Nice. It's not my electricity bill. Yeah. Oh, a letter. On the table. Oh. What is... <laughs> Something was blocking my way, I don't know why. From the security office. The new procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. <laughs> Period. It's like we're not alone then. Actually, where's the security now that I think about it? Is it yeah, just it's... conveniently absent for horror's sake? The real question is, where the fuck is everyone? Well, I guess I'm not wanted there. Well, let's not go that way. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess we have to go there. Yep. Quick, SOS. <laughs> I'm going to assume that was an SOS. <laughs> I have no idea what I typed. I really hope somebody translates it. If I if I if it somehow says that I suck that I suck at video games, um they're right. I may just end up looking up Morse a Morse code thing after this and see what you could have written with that. Should I go that way? Gotta make sure there's no papers or anything. A performance for the ages. Hold on. Acting, if done well, is a scary business. Wait, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back to the newspaper itself. Broadway Herald. Some motel closes its finest season. Okay, because that wasn't in the like actual fine English, are you? Hmm. 
Acting if done well is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact, but become the character you're portraying. Few can master the kind of courage. And yet it happens, to which at, after last night's visit to the Majestic Theater, I can personally attest, as in my as my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest creek to please. Having said that, the place lead performance left me speechless. Utterly fearless, the acting by was nothing short of transcendent. Pretty it sure was, that's the main character. Yeah, it was to see the person on stage dissolve before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. Okay, so I think I'm starting to figure out what the hell is going on here. Um, I'm going to throw an early theory, and I'm going to assume that this person is starting to lose his real identity in the process of portraying many characters you know, with different roles. Yeah, I mean, that's very stereotypical of what would happen in this kind of situation. It's just like you put on so many masks, you lose your real self. Which I, which I think is a real, you know... Ooh, it I is... Kinda... Hmm. I mean, I will say that it is potentially a risk in the acting business. Yeah, because... I gonna... wouldn't... Because, I mean, look at Robert Downey Jr. Again, he acts like Tony Stark. Yeah. Where, where Where's the point where you actually become the character you play as? That's the, that's the real question in this kind of thing. And can you... Yeah, where, where's the line between actor and character? I'm guessing that from what you're saying is basically like your theory is basically like this is the actor himself not seeing that line as clearly and having it blurred. Wait, didn't I just... Okay. Yeah, let's not go there. Let's check everywhere else first. Not like we can, anyway. Even if I wanted to, I can't. Even though we have a key that we could just test out on these doors. Yeah, I can drop the key. For all these reasons. Because horror things. This ship intrigues me. Hmm. Hang on, go back to the door for a second. There was something on the side of the door frame. The, like those, that kind of looks like claw marks on the side. Where? The door frame. They do look like they do look like claw marks, but they might as well be a scratch, dude. Or maybe, but with that kind of consistency all across them, I. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's no, just wear and tear no, or something. No, 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 dude. They do seem like scratches. You're right. You just, you just, look, yeah. at their, you just look at how consistent they are. Yeah. And there also seems to be like kind of a little explosion dent on the door frame itself, like the side of it. Right. Maybe. Okay, maybe that part is actually just the wood, because that yeah, does... It yeah, it's the same part on there. I've never personally seen any wood that actually looks like that, but, well, it's a reused texture somewhere else, so I'm just gonna say it's not really that. He's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy-fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Guess that's the agent talking to the actor. Oh, hey, I'm from New York. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Don't you just love it when so you do a let's play on a horror nuts? game where it's all director? about atmosphere and then you got the, the commentators job. ruining said I mean, atmosphere? What's he gonna do? Kill ya? 
probably. I mean, you're saying that the director is nuts? So, would you put it past him to kill the actor if he doesn't like him? I would... I would say if he's nuts, I would just assume... Like, I would assume at the very least, hostage situation... Situations with the main actor. In case he doesn't want to do it and just force him to do it. Maybe it's an interactable mask. I think it's all an act. I didn't do that. I know. Not like in how he pulled a fucking mask off. Yeah. Oh, you mean the mask, not the vase falling over and breaking? Cause that that was scripted. Yeah. <laughs> From Icarus Transatlantic Security Office to all offs, most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. In other words, don't mess with them. In other words, stay away. Uh, I can barely make out the text on that daily sketch one half no, day no, no, this no, no, no. production the, 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 one, the one here oh you mean the Hello. miniature text yeah hmm. I'm knock knock <laughs> I, mean, I mean that is what that is the voice he reminds me of from the uh, what was the, Inspector Gadget Dr. Claw Before the world told you who you should be, do you remember who you were? No, but I guess we're gonna find out. Oh. I will make you remember. Follow the magic earth wall. <laughs> So many have tried. I can't do that voice. Yeah. <laughs> so many have tried to be a part of my greatest work. As if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the director. Maybe the director is the voice of that of the creeper guy or whatever. Maybe. I believe in you. Hmm. Yeah, that was the camera and it was filming. Yeah, I think it would... I don't know. I'm. I, it's, it's way too early to figure out what would maybe Wait, lead to one me? ending instead of the other. We've gotta get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. That's one of his characters. Oh shit, the flying birdcage. Alrighty then. Okay, that can't happen. I, I can tell you right now, something with that much air and low density would not be able to break wood. That little buoy would not break wood. Yeah, I think we're starting to thread into this insanity territory here. Yeah, now it's getting illogical with all these chain interchanging rooms. I need a safe lock. I'm well, gonna... Was there something on the back of the 
like little pirate doodle. Maybe the pirate doodle is more of a. No, you can't turn it around. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Ugh. And I thought wow. it was being clever. And I thought this puzzle was being clever. Fuck you. Ugh. That fine. was just annoying. <laughs> fine, fine, whatever, just... I'm gonna have to edit this fucking bunch of my footage. Watch, next time you look up, the puzzle's gonna be related to spiders, and then you see Spider-Man. Right, you know what? Just because I went to say fuck you to gun media, we'll end this part here. Okay.